So I haven't shot a bow in over a month, maybe. You know, life is like a roller coaster sometimes. And I, I had to put the bow in the arrow side, uh, going through that first drop. So after this long period of not shooting a bow, it, it's hard to want to shoot again, knowing I'm not going to be at the level I was at, given that month long break. Considering I've never had this kind of a break since I started archery. As you can see, the deer target is sitting there. Bird deer on one leg. Backstop is just in shambles, which I need to make a new one. So, today my video is that's how to get started again. I guess you're going to be coming along on my journey. My plan is to first visualize a shot in my head, visualize my form, visualize lifting the bow, drawing it back. One good thing about this is I'm hoping my muscle memory has reset now so I can truly start over again. Um, because where I left off, if you do follow my, my progress, I, I got stuck in the snap shooting unintentionally, not anything I tried to do. I just started eventually shooting that way, going the instinctive route. And I couldn't stop, I, I couldn't hold a full draw anymore. I think I actually lost strength in my back from snap shooting um, because I wasn't holding anymore, which is like a natural part of the shot process. Because that, that hold and that transfer into the back is, that's when you're engaging. And I don't, I think I stopped engaging my back muscles at some point during the snap shooting. And when I recognized that, that's when I tried to stop it and I couldn't stop it. Um, so that's what I'm hoping. Just try to, to change my form, start fresh with new muscle memory, but with the knowledge that I gained over the last year and a half or so learning archery. So here we go. Let's get a bow. Uh, today we'll be shooting uh, what is described as the 52 inch AF archery short sia laminated Ming bow. The bow was purchased from Hunting Door huntingdoor.com I would like to personally thank huntingdoor.com for their more than exceptional customer service on this purchase the first bow that I received was broken on the end it cracked uh, due to shipping um, unforeseen shipping errors happened the box was pretty banged up um, I contacted Hunting Door Hunting Door and immediately got a response, sent them some pictures. Um, they they asked, inquired about the, like a replacement or a refund. I asked for a replacement. Uh, they were very responsive. Uh, the next day, sent me the tracking for the replacement bow, which they expedited the shipment. And I received it in a week or so <clears throat> from overseas from China. Um, again, I'd like to thank Hunting Door. Go check out huntingdoor.com. Uh, they have very affordable prices on traditional bows. Um, a nice selection. Thank you, Brian C. at huntingdoor.com. So, let's get on. I will review this bow uh, more extensively in another video. But for now, let's have a quick look at it. What you will get is this bow, a bag, like a typical AF archery bag, a string, and a stringer. I did notice I could not find this bow on AF Archery's website, um, and I could not find this bow anywhere else but Hunting Door. There's no AF Archery branding on it, but neither did my Turkish, AF Turkish bow that's bought off Amazon. That has no branding on it as well, but my Tatar does. 
the construction all looks very AF to me. But then again, a lot of these bows all kind of are starting to look the same. The grip is cow leather. And the arrow pass looks to be cow leather as well. It has the overlays around the handle area. Yeah, the description on the website that describes it as similar to the Tatar style, but with longer seals, and the recurve being closer to the handle as opposed to the seal. Let's string it up and have a look at it. Okay, here's the bow strung up. You can see more of the profile of the recurve. It's closer to the handle. It's like a little bit of twist in the string, but it's a very high brace height. So, uh, I think it's maybe something to do with the shape and the recurve. Well, let's shoot this bad boy and see how bad I am. <laughs> Felt good. Uh, I believe the bow on the website said it had a max draw of 36 inches. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty large bow. Um, it fits me well, the draw. Um, I don't feel like I'm being squished in any way. Okay, let's take a few more shots. Those wood arrows feel like they're freaking way heavier <laughs> coming out. They feel like they just fell down and dropped compared to the aluminum I shot, but that was more central in the shots. Um, I'm gonna call this video a day. I'll maybe keep shooting off camera. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, they're all on the target. I'm happy about that. 
um, brand new bow, but I, I like that bow, actually. That's a really great bow. Again, thank you to huntingdoor.com. You guys rock for your customer service and your selection. Check them out. That's a sweet bow. Um, I'll do a, a later video uh, just reviewing that bow itself. So, cheers, y'all. Have a good one. You know what? Video's not over. Let's try to hit this ball. <laughs> yeah. What the hell am I thinking? What is that? That was that. That was that. 12 lame shots on the back target. Yeah, handy. You can do better than that. Come on, you brick. Alright. Can you guys see that ball? Yeah, you can see the ball. Tennis ball. Right there. Let's get it swinging here, and then you'll be able to see it. Something about when you shoot something big, it's like my brain can't separate that. I can hit wherever on that. That first shot in that ball nailed the string. I don't know if you caught it on video, but I just like nailed the string right above the ball. Very first shot. It's like that target needs to small, be small. If need be, build a, a backstop behind a small target. Like small. Shoot at a tennis ball all the time. Who cares if you miss? The fact that you are aiming at this tinier, tiny target, you're gonna be missing closer and closer and closer. Okay, officially, video done. Cheers.